today we are at Grossmont Center Mall, and I'm here with Thomas. <gasps> hi. Hi. Yay! Hi, Thomas. We're dressed up. We are volunteering at the Halloween Hound Adoption Center. So we're going to be with Parrot Education Adoption Center. Peace. And we're just going to vlog today, just kind of show you what it takes to get these parrots adopted, how we educate the public, what we do to set up the booth, uh, talk to people and take down. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a fun day. We're hoping to meet some new future peace volunteers and maybe get some birds adopted in the future. So we're super excited, right, Thomas? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. We gotta unpack the car. Cool. It's time to unpack. I got the bird, got the camera. We're ready to go. We're gonna unpack and we're gonna go into there. Thanks guys for helping. No problem. Yay! Will you say, do you mind saying your name? Yeah, Chase McCain, uh, Eli Stoller. And where are you guys from? Uh, we're with EOD Mobile Unit 3. And so you're volunteering today? Yes. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye too. guys. Hi, hi. Are you gonna get adopted today, Tiki? Huh? Are we gonna find your owner? Oh, wow. that up. oh Carrie, that's so pretty. Yay! Oh, she's all set. Come on down and join Peace at the Halloween Hound Adoption Event. Ooh. Hundreds of dogs, lots of birds. Come on down. We are Thank you. ready to go. Thanks, Carrie. So here is our Spread Your Wings for Peace. Kids can stand in front of it and take pictures, and so they will have a memory. And there's Barbara. Oh my goodness, look how cute. She's been stuck in traffic. She just made it. And we have had so much help today. It's so cool. There's the rest of the booth. So we've got our Peace banner going. Oh yeah, we're all ready. We have volunteers talking to people, educating. There's two in there with their bunny ears. Hello. So we are all set. Okay. She could tell you about beforehand. Wow. Now, what is your name? I'm Debbie. Hi, Debbie. And so you're going to be on Parrot Playhouse channel on YouTube. So you have a success story. Oh, I most definitely do. This is my sweet little Sophie. I adopted her two years ago from Maltese and Moore Rescue, and she was one of 44 dogs that was um, rescued from a puppy mill. I think I remember that. It was um, in Encanto. Wow. And there were 44, and Maltese and Moore had received eight of them, and Sophie was the last one that they had uh, got adopted. Oh my Very gosh. Very fragile. She wouldn't you know, look at anybody and she just kind of hid in the corner and that's when you know that's the one that needs that rescuing, you know, the one that was so frail. And look at her now. She's full of confidence, she's smiling and she's making me want to cry. I'm so happy for her. <laughs> she's a beautiful little angel. You know, you always wonder who rescues who. Yep, all the more reason to adopt, yes. and not shop. Definitely, definitely adopt. Rescue these sweet babies, they deserve it. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. She's precious. Absolutely precious. Sweet as cream. She is just a nice... She loves sweet. her mommy. Oh, yeah, we're quite attached. But I could see that. <laughs> okay, Beth. Is he for adoption or she? No, she's not. She's just hanging out? Yeah, I adopted her. Oh, can I put you on YouTube? Sure. Oh, so you adopted her? I did. Great Pyrenees Rescue? No, I actually adopted her from a separate situation. Um, a family had a litter and they didn't want her. And they oh. were giving away the two females and she was the runt and they specifically didn't want her. So she was in Tennessee and my friends out there took her in for me and at four months old she flew to me and I've had her since. That's so neat! Oh, look at him! She's so beautiful. Thank you. She'll be three this November. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Thank you. It's awesome you adopted. Thank you. But we support the Great Pyrenees Rescue. We'd love to get another. Really? Um, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. They're a great organization. Fantastic organization. Yay. Fully support it. Thank you. Of course.
Okay. Is it okay if I put you on oh, YouTube? Sure. Okay, okay. Let's, let's hear about Nikki. This is, uh, well, his, they said his name was Drew, but we changed it to Nick Charles. And he's a really good boy. Sit, sit, Nikki. Come on. Very distracted, of course. But yeah, he's been a great dog. Pyrenees, he's mixed with some Border Collie, but he's got the Pyrenees personality. Super friendly, just super sweet. Great dogs oh. to have at home, and they're very calm and mellow. So, and you just rep. When did you adopt him? We've had him. It'll be two years in uh, December. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so awesome. He's, got, he's got a forever home with us. That's so cool. Congratulations. www.thelittlereddog.com. My name is Carlo. Hi, Carlo. And so I have permission to put you on Facebook and YouTube? Yes, you do. Oh, thank you. And so who is this? This is Mia from Hi. The Little Red Dog. Yeah. She's up for adoption. She's about three years old. She does really well on a leash and with commands. And she just wants to be with a good human that she can snuggle with most of the day. Oh, my gosh. She looks so precious. She's a very good girl. She loves to give kisses and everything, huh, Mia? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that amazing? I mean, there are so many special pit bulls out there. Yeah. And a lot of them, I'm finding, are gentle. They just have a bad rep. They have a bad rep, and it's just knowing their behavior. Exactly. And discipline and exercise with them is the number one number yep. one and number two things. Uh, keep them going. Keep them on their walks. And uh, they'll understand that you're in control, and, and they'll follow your lead. That sounds reasonable. Yeah, it is. Very right? easy. In all honesty, it's very easy. Not that complicated. No. And look how well-behaved there's other dogs here. She's just totally relaxed and happy. Hey. And yeah. You're good, Mia. That's a good girl. Good girl. And you look at you, and you always think ahead of her, don't you? That's a big thing when you got a pet. Yeah, as a leader um, of the dog, you need to make sure you're on always on full alert. Uh, any kind of situations that could be coming, so that she don't put her in a bad position to do something wrong. Set your animal up for success. Yeah. Awesome. So, what is your name? So, my name is Danielle Hansen. Hi, I'm, Danielle. Hi. I am a volunteer, Frederica, right here. She's the founder of Scratch My Belly. And I'm April, by the way. And, <laughs> and so you're the founder? Yeah. Awesome. And how many dogs do you guys have in your rescue right now? We have about 22 animals in the rescue. Wow. 22. And uh, we've had up to 40. It, uh, yeah, we're, we're completely foster-based, so as, as long as we have fosters that can take in the dogs, we will we'll take in as many as possible. So we're always looking to grow our foster base and add some quality people to uh, to the family. Fosters are important, aren't they? Yeah. Incredibly. Yeah, absolutely. It's super important to a rescue like ours. And we take anything from chihuahuas to pit bulls, anything from puppies that are six weeks old to 14-year-old dogs like Leo over there. Do you mind if I put you on YouTube? Of okay. So he's 14. He came from Downey. Oh. Uh, we got him out of Downey in Los Angeles. I know Downey well. Yep. Wow. So he was in a high kill shelter. He was in a high kill shelter. We saw his video, thanks to the volunteers up there. And we decided to get him out. And he's a happy go lucky, joyful, spunky, lots of energy, does great with all dogs, cats. Oh my goodness. He's just the best little guy. And that's why we want to advocate for seniors as well. We love getting the senior dogs out as and, well as the, the young ones. And if it wasn't for you guys, because that's a high kill shelter, yeah. he, he would not have had a chance. Probably not. He had been um, overlooked for a while and his time was coming close to a close. And uh, we decided collectively to help him out. And we're glad, he, glad we did because he's, he's just got adopted. Yesterday. He did? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's they, awesome. Somebody uh, <laughs> is totally excited and he'll be going to his new home tonight. Oh, that makes me tear up. <laughs> that makes me tear up. Yeah, it's a good outcome, isn't it?
Uh, we get them from the shelters. Um, we get them from, we, we take in some from Mexico. We take some from El Centro, uh, up in the LA, the high kill shelters. And when we have room, we take owner surrenders. Wow. Uh, we actually have a Harvey dog here too. Who, Where's your uh, Harvey dog? The black one. Wow. Just a big reason why we should be adopting and not buying. Because there's so many. Look at that! We got a little skeleton. So many. Look how sweet and well behaved they are. It's so wonderful. And that's our Harvey dog. Aww. Hi, little one. Greyhound. Adoption Center. In El Cajon. part of what we do is provide education for people who have parrots or who want to get a parrot. And the second thing we do is accept birds who need a home for a variety of reasons and foster them in trained volunteer homes until we can find a great match for them and, and a permanent home. Um, and this is Jakey. Jakey is a 30-year-old blue-fronted Amazon who came to us just a couple of months ago when her owner of 30 years passed away, leaving no family to take care for her. And she's looking for a home. She had not been handled in uh, several years, but steps up really well. Uh, because we're in an outdoor venue here, we're keeping our birds safe in enclosures. So that's why she's inside her, her boat mobile, as my husband calls it. Her boat mobile. <laughs> um, she had not been handled in several years. And she took a few days to start stepping up, but she's super sweet. And really is just looking for a nice home. She has a very bu bubbly, animated personality. And if you visit our website at www.peace.org, you can learn about our adoption process. Our foster flock is located at www.peac.petfinder.com. And you can search for uh, or look at all our adoptable birds there. We do require people come to classes to learn about what's involved with parrot care and to meet the birds so we can see where the best match lies. Thank you so much. Hey, hey how did it go? Did it go well today? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. See? We're home. We actually just pulled up. We had a very successful parrot education and adoption center event today. We couldn't be happier. We met future volunteers, future fosters, and there were a lot of people that were interested in the birds and also birds that were not there. So we're super, super happy. It was a success. Just a wonderful day. And we met so many awesome other rescues. So we're happy and I just want to end this vlog so, yay! We had a good day. All right, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel, Parrot Playhouse. And let me know how you enjoyed this vlog. Did you enjoy coming along? Uh, it was different than what we usually do, but I thought it was important. I, I want you to see also what else I do. What else, you know, you do to save birds, to get them adopted. I think it's important. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Say bye. Bueno. Bye, guys. Bye.